All right, hey guys, we're back. Hole number three here, par five of the new Paris course. And have to pick up some of these and thankfully got uh, one of the new holes. Looks like I can just get this over to the other side if I'd like to do so. Not by very much. Um, I'm going to put on a katana ball just to make sure. You know, I'd really like to, uh, you know, pull this off. This is what I recommend that you do for this shot. Uh, of course, you're going to need a very good curling driver to be able to pull this off. So you see that I land very left there. Put as much curl as possible. Oh, wow. That's such a bad break. <laughs> that was the worst. That was so crappy. I cannot believe that happened. That was such a bad break. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pitch it out to where the ball should have been. And that way I can still give you guys the approach. Um, I can probably still get it up to the very close to the green from where I'm at. It might not be on the green. It might be wind specific. But I'm just going to go ahead and lay it out into the fairway because there's no reason my ball shouldn't have been in the fairway. That was a very, very bad break that I just got there. The way that that rolled out. <clears throat> so that's the way that I would recommend going about doing this. Let's just take a look at this extension real quick just so we can kind of see. Um, it would probably be best to just kind of lay up in this north fairway, kind of like this, and give myself a very easy kind of end bringer or, uh, you know, min thorn type approach. But what I'm going to do here is just pitch it out to where it should have been, and, you know, we'll hit the shot that, uh, you know, was intended. So we can get a look as to, you know, the way that you're going to want to play this in Tour 4. Do keep in mind that, uh, you know, the way that you'll want to uh, kind of maneuver this tour uh, would be to, uh, you know, definitely take these curling drivers, in, in my opinion. They give you a very good, uh, you know, different approach, which gets you, you know, to different spots, which are a little bit better, make the hole a little bit easier. And, uh, you know, even if you don't have the snipers that I might, um, you can just kind of, you know, copy my spin for the most part and hit a very equivalent shot. So let's just take a look at a few options here. So you can see with the extra curl that I have. So just missed that one. Um, you know, I will go over what I was trying to do here. Let's see how it comes in. Just a little bit low. So trying to play the slope with the uh, side spin. We had around a two mile per hour wind, for example. Uh, you might be a little bit uphill. So I was trying to use that max ring adjustment, which is about 1.9 per ring. Now keep in mind, even if you don't have, you know, the latest snipers, it's really not a big deal. Um, you can just kind of convert everything to, you know, whatever, you know, whatever my max percentage is, you just have to use my max. So with your club, so you can see when I switch to Vipers or whatever, Guardian, it gives you different uh, ring adjustments there for that shot. So let's take a look at this one. It's going to... Uh, 
pop this up in real quick. <clears throat> so good luck with that whole guys. Uh, and uh, catch you guys coming up here on the shootout.